I used to work for a megacorp. Security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. Take your neighbor's new recruit. Careful, the walls have ears. SY 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. can be candid for this job to work we'll have to do this my way we take my ship and you're a member of my crew but make no mistake once you board the risk is entirely yours this route is highly lucrative and sacrificing it is not an option do not mistake us for amateurs we will get the job done without sacrificing your route I appreciate the confidence I just want to remind you, this job calls for more discretion than your usual swashbuckling adventures. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I was thinking about getting some work done at Enhance. Want it? Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. Interesting. When we get to the station, I'll see if I can pull any information on its whereabouts. Hopefully, that'll make for a smoother trip. Less than you. And even if I did, I'm a smuggler, not a scientist. But, if Delgado's after it, and I have a feeling there's a pile of crickets waiting at the end of this job. So we better do it right. Enough to be on a first-name basis with the Marines working the comps. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. I'd like to. But I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Even more so when the cargo is contraband. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but... Sometimes, I want to gather my creds and take a nice, long vacation in the outer systems. But then I do the math, and I don't have enough creds. Hopefully, this job will change that. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We'll talk more on the ship.
be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Yes, you need until next time. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. The less talking all of us have to do, the better. You'll get no argument from me. It'll be hard enough explaining why I have two new crew members. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other question... See you! Let me know when you're ready to leave. <coughs> All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. We'll grab drum to SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain hey. Juan Dai Yu, cargo class ship ID UC 7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay. Hello. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. I would hope not. But if they do... 
We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Yes? What? You with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Cargo haulers are restricted to the cargo bay. <clears throat> Looks like the shipments are all in order. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Yeah, you do that. SY920 military. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. Yeah, I get that this place can be a maze. That's true. It's almost more of a hassle talking to you. It's classified too, I bet. Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. That goes for your friend, too. We will be quick. Ah, hello. A good team always shares the load. That is all. Very well.
hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Vincent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. You got patrol duty, huh? State your business. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Your friend there have the same clearance? Of course. Then you're both good to go. Say the word, and we shall be on our way. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comms. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. I've hacked into the database, and it seems information on the comms spike is in the archives. There's a checkpoint you'll have to pass, which requires a clearance code. Checkpoints have not been a problem so far. There's little reason to think this one would be different. I like the confidence. But remember, they tend to get harder the further you go. Hence, the clearance code. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the comm spike. Not yet. If you aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave.
Yes, what? Make it quick, Ensign. I'm busy with half a dozen spreadsheets that I'm pretty sure I'd rank you. And you know how the Commander feels about breaking the chain of command. She hates it. Well, you've got a uniform, Ensign Akasaka. Just use the computer in the security office and look up the code based on your last name. I don't recognize your face, Ensign. Are you new? Stop right there, Ensign. All right, Ensign. Why aren't you at your post? Who's your commanding officer? Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Stop being evasive and answer the question, Ensign. Only senior officers report to the commander. Something doesn't seem right. Well, if you say so... Fine, I'll let you go, Ensign. But as soon as you're done with your task, you should return to your post. You aren't assigned to this level, Ensign. You need to leave. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. You're clear, Ensign Akasaka. I assume the two of you are together? Yes, we are t together. Then you're both clear. Stenson? I don't know you, Ensign. You sure you have clearance?
How quickly? Can you get that done? How are the tests for the comms by doing? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. Well, there was an accident. Ugh. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious behavior. Hey, the test pilots here are the real heroes. If we make an error, they're the ones who suffer the consequences. I've heard the team is looking for more test pilots. I don't know. I've flown a discovery class, but I'm not familiar. I should stop letting my career define my self-worth. The project might not even exist tomorrow. So, what's this big project you're working on? Well... I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Really? Couldn't you just trust me? Nope. Right out the airlock you'd go. But I tried my best not to enjoy it. Can you talk to the commander? Get me reinstated? Natara's doing you a favor, Marcine. Would you prefer to court-martial? Dishonorable discharge? Because all of that was on the table. I would have preferred things to remain as they were, so I made a mistake. But my work on the comm spike was and is irrelevant. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke the bear. 
Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system. Aaron was right. I should have never hit levels, Results in risk yeah, increased by a magnitude of... You screwed up. Two. Royally. But we but won't tell Commander Natara. What she doesn't know won't kill her. All the King's subjects. By keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey, you want my advice? On some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit. Lean back. <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all of this. Oh, and stop with the sad puppy dog face, too. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. And what kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of someone who got away with it. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Steal the calm spike. Why? Who is this person? Damn space pirates. Say no more. I will contact Commander Natara immediately.
Commander Natara, this is Dr. Vogel. What is it now, Doctor? We have an intruder on board. Captain Juan Dayu is not who she says. Wait, Dayu? She was one of the captains on Messina's list. Apparently, she's with the Crimson Fleet. And she's after my calm spike. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll sound the alarm and have a strike team directed toward the cargo bay. Good. I have a pilot here. I'll have them secure the prototype. Make sure it's safe. You are a pilot, aren't you? You've got the look, at least. Take this key card. It'll give you access to docking bay 8. I need you to make sure my prototype is safe. This is Commander Natara. Strike team units head to the cargo bay immediately. This is a red alert. I repeat, this is a red alert. In here, there's an intruder in the cargo bay. Crimson Fleet, they say. Yes. What? Does all the action happen upstairs. I'd love to shoot me some pirates. Seems to be where we left it. On Commander Natara's orders, all ships continue pursuit of Captain Juan Dayu. Cargo class ship ID UC-793A. She's with the Crimson Fleet and should be considered extremely dangerous. Well, well, well. Welcome back, back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. We'll secure that That's ship a real nice you. ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. Rook. In the fleet, you either put up, shut up, or die. As long as you 
fight with the fleet first, we won't have any problems. Every captain here's earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. Surprised to see me, Rhett? Delgado may let it slide, but I don't take kindly to snitches. There's always a choice. You made yours. If the time comes you ever need my help, I'll make mine. You screwed me under the most lucrative route I have. It's going to take me months to set up something even remotely as good. Not to mention getting the UC off of my trail. Don't put this on me. I got you in and gave you cover. You decided to return that favor by blowing mine. You may have fooled Delgado and Neva, but I don't trust you, Rook. At this point, you better find that legacy. Because to me, that's the only saving grace you've got. I hope you're not wasting time on small talk when there are jobs to run. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the com spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She's actually pretty pissed, in case you didn't notice. Claims you blew her cover. If one doesn't like how things have gone, and she wants to bail on her share, that's her problem. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. You damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, Neva. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need. I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. We have dealt with more than a few of your captains. This one should be no problem. It's the way you dealt with the last captain that concerns me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. Yes. Yeah. 
ship services? You need it, I've got you. Got it. Anything ship related, you're at the right place. Bannock 4 is a ringed planet, uninhabitable, with heavy electromagnetic discharges that extend far beyond its exosphere. It would be impossible to land on the planet's surface. So our only hope is that the legacy is trapped within its ring. I wish. That technology is Jenardine's pride and joy. They've kept it under wraps for, I don't know, 80 years maybe? The basic theory of lightning capture is no mystery. The real trick is equalizing the charge and storing it safely. <laughs> Between you and... No, but just remember, I don't work for free. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. I know. That is part of the reason why I feel it necessary to be honest. You told me that you believe in going it alone, as you put it. But we have traveled together for a while now. I feel I must honor that time with the truth. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out, until now, is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. They have retreated from open relations 
with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective, but they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra, and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krejar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the great serpent and his inevitable return. Thank you. I doubt many would see it that way. There is a reason that I am only just revealing this now. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. That was the intent, yes. The reality is more complicated. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. I thought the same, and yet there they were. I was... Horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council. And the penalty would be severe. They do not. I have, for now, kept that information to myself. You and I have spent so much time together... It has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. I know. I understand that this may change what you think of me. I know that you may no longer wish to associate with me. I believe that in this moment, honesty is more important than anything. No matter what happens next, I have appreciated the time with you, and I thank you for trusting me. Need something? Assuming all... Undocking complete, Captain. Jump complete. Normal propulsion restored. Green lights on outer hatch. We're docked. Sometimes we'll take the long-range fighters out for grav jump and patrol high traffic orbits. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. 
Betraying Juan Dayu for cover was a dangerous gambit, but it seems to have paid off. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. Injuring or killing UC personnel would only cause more problems for us in the long run. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. That all depends on what you brought back from your mission. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I can take it off your hands once we complete your debriefing. But at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and NAST will authorize an all-out assault. Of course I am, but it's a calculated risk. It's long overdue. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. Cost overruns, siphoning project funds? How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Mass right away. Let's just hope that a few rotten apples within the UC haven't spoiled the entire bunch. Find anything else? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I wouldn't want to be there at Mass when the commander has to explain taking... Oh, the whole place smells of fish. You would think that would keep people away. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. Madame. Sauvages. Nice. Mm. 
You looking to get zoned? Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. He has certainly earned quite a reputation. Neon is proof of it. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here. Take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend.